Hi everyone, welcome back to my Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation playthrough. Today we are playing through the level Temple of Poseidon. So in the last level we made our way through the catacombs, we collected four tridents which we need to enter the Temple of Poseidon. Based on Jean-Yves advice we are still searching for any pieces of the armor of Horus that might be down here in the catacombs and also we are searching for access to the Lost Library which will then allow us to enter the palaces of Cleopatra. So this is going to be a nice short level which is much appreciated after the long confusing catacombs. So let's just get into it. So let's just continue straight into the temple of Poseidon. So ooh, there's a hole in the floor. <laughs> so this is a oh well I just fell down the hole anyway didn't I? But yeah, that was another totem there, so we can use that later. I don't think I'm going to use that totem. Um, there's just a quicker way to get rid of those spirits a bit later, but it's handy to know that it's there. So, okay, I'm gonna just start, I think, here and work my way around. I think that's the easiest way to do it. And wow, it's dark in here. I can't see a thing. And there is just one secret here. And it's over here. Great. And you do need to get the secret um, before you fill this with water because the secret, I think, do believe becomes inaccessible once this is filled with water and yeah that is the only the only secret in this entire level so we got that we're done now <laughs> and oh yeah just a bit of info actually oh wait no I'll do it later when I've killed these because oh that was so rude you guys are so rude That'll show you. Um. There. Oh. Okay. Forgot about this bit. Um. Oh yeah, here we go. So we need our Poseidon statues. Is there a skeleton creeping up on me? No. Okay. <laughs> so these are our statues of Poseidon and yeah they're missing their tridents so we need to put those on. But just really quickly Poseidon is the god of the sea and water in ancient Greek mythology so there's obviously a lot more info on him than that but that's just the basic for anyone who didn't know um, about Poseidon which includes me. So yeah, that's why there's water everywhere. He is the god, the ancient Greek god of water. And actually a fun fact, that is why everyone gets so annoyed about in Tomb Raider 1 in St. Francis's, St. Francis's, St. Francis's, St. Francis Folly. I can't do multiple S's on the end of words. But yeah, that's why everyone gets so annoyed with that in Tomb Raider 1. Because that level is set in Greece and they should have all Greek gods in the tower place. But they actually have the water room labelled as Neptune, which is the Roman god of water instead of the Greek god Poseidon. So that's like a huge mistake in Tomb Raider 1 and St. Francis's Folly. Someone at core messed up a bit there and didn't do their research. <laughs> Okay. So let me just try and not catch fire. Uh, uh. Okay, so I think, I think that's all of them. Oh, uh. <gasps> I can hear a skeleton oh god 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 they're gonna push me into the fire uh uh
I'm okay. Okay. Let's just very carefully <laughs> make our way out of the room. <sighs> that was stressful. That was stressful. Okay. Oh, it's water now. Right. Over here. And this is pretty cool though, right? It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Oops. And yeah, so this is full of water now. And yeah, so the hole just magically seals itself up for some reason because, you know, water can seal solid rock. Obviously. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Um Right, so we'll do this one next then. And oh yeah, it's this one. Just save it first before I attempt this. <gasps> oh, good thing I saved it. God's sake. Ugh. That's too close though. This- yeah. What the hell? Why did that work? I think that's because maybe I pressed action instead of the jump button. Hmm, that might make a difference. Interesting. Okay. I'll take that. Oh, whoa. Trident number two. Poseidon looks scary. It's really scary. Won't you come alive as well? Ugh! Well, I've no idea what I'm doing. Why won't you come alive? Oh! Well, I mean, it's dead now, isn't it? Side step, carefully, carefully, okay. That's another one done. Oh wow, I nearly jumped into the giant pit. Um, so yeah, we are attempting to fill this pit with water and it only fills and becomes swimmable if we have enough water. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really don't know what is wrong with my brain lately. It's just, it's just not working really, is it? It's fine. I'm sure I'll get some brain capacity back at some point. <laughs> uh. Okay, oh no, you're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way, Lara. Um, is there something here? No. What about here? Shoot the damn jars! Well, maybe they don't shoot. Or break, I guess. It 
won't let me pick them up. Fine. Be like that. Okay. He just, he looks so creepy and his face is even creepier because Lara's like climbing on him. It just looks, it looks a bit wrong, doesn't it? Like, just look at that face. He looks like he's never been happier than when Lara showed up. <laughs> okay, I need to calm down. I apologize. Very, very giddy. Very giddy today. There we go. I'm determined to leave no skeleton alive. Not on my watch. They are too annoying to suffer them existing. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling evil today. Pure evil. Right. And then we've only got one more left. So this is going well. Oh no, I shouldn't have said that. Why do I keep saying that? Every time I say that, something goes really wrong. Right. And then this, you climb up over here. Oh, maybe I should have popped a flare before I did this. It's a bit dark. It's a bit dark. Oh well, it's fine. Hopefully. It always comes out much brighter in the footage than what it looks like on my screen. So that's a good thing, I guess. The, hang on, I could hear something. Ah, ah! I don't like when they jump out like that. He looks like he's been waiting his whole life for this moment. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I just... I don't know. I have no excuses. I haven't eaten anything today yet, so I'm just going to blame it on that. Like, I'm hungry. Just not feeling myself, really. <laughs> okay. So... Now it's time to just jump in the big hole. Ah, uh, oh, for God's sake. Yeah, getting hangry now. Getting hangry. <laughs> the, okay. So there's the spirit thing. So we can go, we can climb back up this ladder. Oh, jeez. Um, we can climb- get away! We can climb- oh, that that's a wall, Lara. That's a wall. Yeah, you're giving out to Lara, but who's controlling her, Suzanne? Who's controlling her? So yeah, we can climb- oh, maybe not there. Where are the bleepity bleep? Is the ladder? Oh, that's it. Okay, that doesn't look like a ladder at all. So yeah, we can climb back up there to the totem. But I'm actually just going to uh, swim. Hang on. <laughs> this is this is a disaster. It's an absolute disaster. Okay, so there we go. So I'm going to swan dive. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to swan dive. Because, yeah. Right. And it still follows you, by the way. It'll follow us through the water now. Right. Um, I don't think there's anything here. Stop hitting me. Oh, jeez. I need a medipack. Oh, hang on. Let me use my shortcut. There we go. Okay. 
Um. Right. So now we've got three of them. We've got two more. So. Here's totems for us to use. Okay, that's one. Or was that them all? Hang on. Oh no. Oh wait! Okay. Is that them all gone? I guess so. Okay, so that kind of saves you some time. If you don't want to climb back up there to the totem, you can just uh, jump down here and do it there. Handier. Okay, so we'll open this. And yay, we now have our very first piece of the armor of Horus. So we have his left gauntlet so his like kind of like glove thingy i guess um as part of his armor so that's really cool we've got one piece so you know we got a glove basically so that'll tell you how long it's going to take us to pick up this armor a while So if we push this, this is a shortcut back out to coastal ruins and oh that was a big fall. And I'm just going to go back out here quickly to, well, like with the catacombs, open it up just so we have everything open but to also go and visit John Yves again because yeah, we have another cutscene. And I don't know, I miss Sean Eves. I really like him. I like him a lot. Is he one of my favorite characters? Maybe. Maybe he is. I love him. He's got such a beautiful energy about him or something. I don't know, I like him a lot. So we are back out here now in Coastal Ruins. So let's just swim back if we don't if we don't get caught in the buggy water. This is absolutely ridiculous underwater swimming. Okay. So I'm pretty sure this is the only place you can get up, um, but if you know of another place you can get out of the water, do let me know. It just, it seems like it would have been nice if they'd created a more obvious place to get out of the water, but anyway. So yeah, we're back in Coastal Ruins now, so we're going to make our way back to Alexandria and jean Eve's office there where we can chat to him and I'm just going to edit out this backtrack because honestly we don't need to see it again. Okay so we're back. I'll just pop up to say hello and he'll give us some more advice and more clues. Where is he? John Eves? Oh, there you are. Greetings, Lara. Remember, somewhere in the library will be the means to guide you to the location of Cleopatra's palaces. Von Croy will not know you have found the library yet, but I have heard, through connections, that he has hired new local help and is doubtless searching for another way in. For the moment, we have the advantage. But I fear you must move quickly if we are to stay ahead. Remember, the Great Library was very much like a university to ancient Alexandria. It will be full of knowledge, puzzles and invention. You will need quick wits to get through. Good luck, my friend. 
Okay, so just to quickly go through that cutscene, Sean Eves reminds Lara that somewhere in the lost library of Alexandria will be the means to guide her to Cleopatra's palaces. So I guess in Tomb Raider, the lost library of Alexandria that I spoke about in the last video was not completely destroyed. <laughs> destroyed? What the? <laughs> destroyed. The Lost Library of Alexandria was not completely destroyed. Like I said in the last video, in real life it was, but in Tomb Raider I guess they're saying that the Lost Library actually still exists and maybe it's buried under the city or something like that. So Jean Yves is basically telling us that now we need to find the entrance to the Lost Library of Alexandria down in the catacombs enter the library and there we will find the means to access Cleopatra's palaces. It's all very confusing, but there you go. Jean-Yves states that Von Croy has not found the library yet. But Von Croy has hired local help and is searching for a way in. Jean-Yves says that for the moment they have the advantage, but Lara must be quick. So basically, we're in a race against time against Von Croy to get into this library first. Jean-Yves says that the Great Library was like a university to ancient Alexandria and that it will be full of knowledge, puzzles and invention. Lara will need quick wits to get through the library. So that's really, really exciting. Bye, Jean-Yves. Bye. I really do just love him so much. Like platonically love him so much. In case anyone thinks I'm like obsessed with him in a creepy way. No, I just, I know, I just love him. So yes, that's where we need to go. So we're going to go back to the catacombs where we just were. And find the entrance to the last library. And again, I'm going to edit this backtrack out because it's boring. <laughs> okay, so we're back in coastal ruins. And I'm just going to actually dive off the edge here because it's quicker. And then we'll just climb back into catacombs slash temple of Poseidon. Oh my god, it's pitch black. Pitch black. Oh, that's a wall. Okay. So we're back here. That is the wrong way. Um, so this is where we just picked up our gauntlet and I'm gonna go through here. And this is super sneaky again. Like that's so easy to miss. Um, but yeah, this is the entrance to the Lost Library. Thank you so much for watching this really, really short video. <laughs> I just put this as a really short video on its own because I felt like Catacombs was too long to add it on there. And then the next level, The Lost Library, is also way too long to have added it on there. So yeah, this is kind of just like a little mini video, I guess. I really feel like we're absolutely flying through Alexandria, which is great because it can be such a long, complex section. As always, if you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate if you would consider subscribing. It really does help me. Thank you so much and I will see you very, very soon in the Lost Library.